What is going on guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web with part two of our prize highlights. So let's get straight down to the next one in line here, which is our leaderboard legendary Lady of the Lake. So um, I definitely like her look. I think she is extremely cool looking along with her little pet behind her there. Um, her, her look is just insane. It is a beautiful sprite and for a pretty decent fighter actually. So, Lady of the Lake, she is going to be a water guru, is my guess. Um, so, her stats are here shown, 8245 HP, 1093 attack, 2944 defense, 16,930 wisdom, and 5,597 agility. A Funk All Elite, new skill here, all target guru, so it is wisdom based with a cooldown of 1. Still water runs deep. Better to hide a lake monster in. <laughs> so to take a quick look at her skill, I think it is a really nice looking skill. It's just insane how that thing just comes up. I mean, it it, it really looks nice. Um, the thing is, guys, when it comes to legendary gurus, they are not going to do you any good if you don't at least fuse them to two out of three so you can have that cooldown of one. Um, gurus not having the, their smallest cooldown possible is not good um, but at a cooldown of one for all target guru that's pretty standard pretty much the average for a good usable all target guru nowadays and this was a powerful legendary that I think is extremely useful um, for those that like all target gurus um, she is definitely a good option um, I would definitely recommend her to anyone who likes a pretty nice powerful all target guru and as an added bonus she's of the water element and we don't get many of those as you know so you may want to just for that reason who knows but um she is pretty good guys if you like all target gurus definitely go for lady of the lake next here we have mortar for um recolor here so nothing really much to talk about this fighter honestly Besides the fact that he just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, DNA decided to make us another weird fighter, guys, and here's why. So, let's take a look at his stats off the edge. HP, 1595. Attack, 4606. Defense, 1423. Wisdom, 3032. Agility, 2190. So, this fighter is a weird one, guys, and here's why. So, this fighter is Sting Elite, single target agility based skill. Will someone please let me know why in the world DNA decided to design a fighter to have 3032 wisdom and only 2190 agility when his skill is based off of agility? I mean, with only 3,000 wisdom, he is not stopping no guru from dropping him. He only has 3,000 wisdom and 1,500 HP. If a guru hits him, he is he is good as toast. So there is absolutely no reason for him to have that much wisdom. They should have just threw it all into agility, and this would have been a fighter that made a lot more sense. But, I mean, the stat that he uses for his cooldown skill is is third lowest stat I mean it is horrible that this fighter anyways just know that this guy is attack super fuse fighter if you were to use him for that you would get 552 um, I also failed to mention that he is an earth rogue and his total stat base is 12,846 so um, the last fighter that we talk about is our um, boss our bp boss here that is shown after you defeat the sentries um lord of the lord's guard the only thing is guys i don't know if dna is going to fix anything because usually where you would get the hidden fighter would be here in the crystal bracket but i don't see this guy anywhere in the entire crystal bracket so i don't know how you're going to acquire him but he was in the trade section for just a short while um, he's been patched out now so he's no longer there but from what we saw he looked to be an air champ if I can remember correctly 
an air champ and I think his skill was either gust or gale all so um, he's going to be an all target champ and um, if the trend continues to follow I'm pretty sure he's going to be a pretty horrible fighter he may be super fuse fighter for HP and or attack but that's just my guess I'm pretty sure he's not going to be that great of a fighter honestly so to move on to our comparison I'm just going to let you guys know up front um, of course we don't have one for Lord of Dolores Guard because we know nothing of him and we don't have one for Mortifor because he's just a horrible fighter that doesn't make sense so with that being said there's only one left and I decided to compare Lady of the Lake to Ace Lena here so fighters are extremely similar here guys um, they both have a all target wisdom based skill with a cooldown of one at two for three self fusions so basically um, lady of the lake is the power creep to escalina that's basically all she is guys um, honestly unless there's a difference in the multiplier of their cooldown skills unless you want a water element fighter I wouldn't even bother getting lady of the lake but um, if you want a water element or if the multiplier is looking nice on lady of the lake then you may want to upgrade your escalina because Lady of the Lake is statistically better in every category, guys. 116 more HP, 14 more attack, 42 more defense, 240 more wisdom, and 80 more agility for a total stat difference of a whopping 492. So that's why I say there's really not a big difference in these fighters, guys. Honestly, Either you want her for water element or we're going to have to wait and see if her multiplier is just much better than Ace Kalina's. Um, other than that, there's really nothing you need to worry about. Um, I wouldn't even bother upgrading if you already have Ace Kalina. So there we have it, guys. Our prize highlights the second part for A Knight's Tale Siege Event 9. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful and informational. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. I'll be back at you guys with another dot video soon. Later, guys.